As I've said before, there are a lot of things I love about this job, but probably the greatest is when I get to baptize someone. This morning, I would like to uh, invite Christian and his family to come forward as we celebrate this young life and welcome him to the family of God. You can follow along with us uh, on the screen um, behind me. He's like, I'm suspicious. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, buddy? All right. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All of this is God's gift offered to us without price. I present to you, Christian Delore, for baptism. Are you ready, bud? He says, let's get it going. <laughs> All right. So... Let me ask his mom, Jada, his father, Tyreek, as well as uh, his godmother, uh, Hannah, and, and all those who are, are here for him. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, answer, I do. Do you accept the freedom and the power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, answer, I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, answer, I do. And will you nurture this child in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and your example, that he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself, to profess his faith openly, and to lead a Christian life? If so, answer, I will. I will. And according to the grace given to you, where you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives in the world? If so, answer, I will. I now ask you, the body of Christ, do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, answer, we do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include this person now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround this person with a community of love and forgiveness that he may grow in his trust of God and be found faithful in his service to others. We will pray for him that he may be a true disciple whose walk in the way that leads to life. Let us now join together in the Apostles' Creed. Let us join together in the professing of the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testament. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and in life everlasting. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a beautiful rainbow. And when you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus nurtured in the water of a womb. And he was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit and bless this gift of water and those who will receive it to wash away their sin and to clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. Are you ready, my friend? All right. Christian, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Ah. Now it is our joy to welcome our new brother in Christ. Let's welcome him. And if you guys want to, want to turn around and show him his cute little face. Look at all those crazy people out there clapping for you, huh? And here's your certificate. Thank you. And thank you so much for letting me baptize you today. You were super good. All right, let's welcome, welcome him uh, one more time to the family of Christ. Thank you guys so much. 